And hello. <coughs> so, <laughs> I always cough before introducing myself. Um, but more importantly, enough about me. <laughs> no, no, you, you, you're here. You, you be, you're intrigued because you want to write Space Invaders, and you, um, yeah, you, you find you find this tutorial on YouTube, and you think, is this guy talking to me? Well, why has it got sparse invaders on there? Well, this is a game that I wrote in 2009 when, let's say, I was bored. So I challenged myself, as I do, and will continue to do, until the day I take my last breath. Which, as I'm quite old, is going to be quite soon. <laughs> a cheerful note. Uh, so, yeah, sparse invaders. It is space invaders for the BBC Micro Model B. And um, yeah, let's say I did it a challenge. It's done in another language to what we'll be using, but it's a development. Um, it just shows that I have I have coded it uh, in the past, and uh, it's released under uh, a site called Retro Software. They're very nice chaps. It was a while ago, 2008 <laughs> or 2009 when it was released. Um, but yeah, it was very good fun to write it. Um, it was definitely a challenge, and uh, the whole game I think took up about five and a half, six k of memory. It's very, very, very. When it, when dealing with um, micro or old old computers from the early 80s, uh, you realise it didn't have much memory. We're talking this one had 32k, but a big chunk of that was used um, with your. Um, uh, video memory for, for this so yeah because it was in color it, as you can see it um yeah it ate into the memory so it only really had about well, six or seven k to play with so yeah and that's including all the graphics and sound effects oh, lovely okay so yeah you want to write space invaders and i i probably am the, the person to help you um i've been programming well i wrote my first uh, game in 1978. Uh, I've done multiple, um, a plethora of assemblers uh, and also other languages. I, there aren't that many languages, the more popular languages, that I haven't at least dabbled in. I love that word, dabbled. Um, so yeah, uh, I think we'll have fun. Uh, it's a learning curve for me. I will mess up and you will watch. <laughs> <laughs> but together, we, we will develop um, Space Invaders. Now, as I am a professional and OCD to extreme, uh, we will do it properly. Uh, we will do it at a professional level. So don't be concerned. It won't be strict and formal. But there will be commenting, which is correct. Uh, let's say function headers and things like that. So it just makes it very easy to read for when you come back and when you expand upon your library of functionality and you write your own games later on. It, it all makes perfect sense. All right, so don't, don't be daunted. So enough of the drivel. Uh, this video will involve installing Visual Studio 2019 and Mono Games, which is an extension within it, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so here's what I did. Uh, I think I'm going to use Mono Game, and I want to write a um, arcade game. Oh, it's Space Invaders. So you will uh, go to Google and type "setting up Mono Game in um, Visual Studio" or "setting up Mono Game on Windows." Anything like that, and it will bring you to this page. I will leave a link to this page in the in the description. Um, so it, yeah, it tells you how to do it. It is from from monogame.net. Um, it's worth going on, having a look at the samples and demos and the games that are actually being used from it. And um, yeah, it's very very good. Uh, I'm picking it because it uses it, it's a migration from XNA, uh, which was um, Microsoft's C sharp wrapper for DirectX. Uh, yeah, very very good. Uh, I wrote quite a lot of games and utilities for that. Unfortunately, they stopped uh, supporting it in 2006, which is a little bit of a pain. Uh, and that was actually a long while ago. <laughs> mm, a long while ago. All right, so 
follow instructions is before installing mono game you need to install visual studio 2019 you could click on this link and then follow for a download or you could go to google and go download visual studio 2019 one of the first pages that comes up is this page which is downloads and it's visual studio microsoft.com downloads i'll put a link in the in the description uh, look for visual studio 2019 community edition this is the one because it's free oh yes yeah no paying bucks here everything that we will do and this is free any utility that we need we will write as we go along so i've got lots of plans these this these tutorials will be uh yeah good fun and you will learn a lot um download so you click on the download follow the instructions and more importantly when it comes up to choosing the what you would install go back to the instructions you need to install these four packets here four development packets you want um dot net cross no core cross platform development mono development with dot net uh universal windows platform development tick uh dot net desktop development tick tick them all tick them four it's really important that you tick the four i'm going to just quickly launch uh your studio actually i've got it already launched lovely and i'm just going to show you what window will come up it is in well i'm gonna it comes up with visual studio installer now there's a modify option and this shows you what options you have and what what you'd want to install so let's have a look at the ones i've got installed i've got dot net desktop development tick there um then we've got universal windows platform development i've ticked that one mobile development dot net i've ticked that and if you go down ignore the others that i've ticked oh we have it here net core cross-platform development tick so i have the four important um development packets that i'm going to or components that i'm going to install okay so let's close that um follow the instructions let it install and then we go on to the next phase which is install mono game extension for windows uh, for visual studio 2019 uh, okay so it's got the instructions there and i will show you how that is you will go along to this top menu and you'll hit find extensions yep so you then click on manage extensions oh yes um let it come up and sort itself out then in this little window here search type mono game and voila it will appear so i'm just the bug crawling on my desk <laughs> i've already got it installed but you'll see it come up make sure it says mono game project templates and just click follow the instructions for install it it will come here so you go yes install um if it says uh, re restart then please restart and come back you will soon find the web web page or the youtube again when you reboot your machine <laughs> <laughs> my voice was about to go all right so you've done that you've installed visual studio 2019 we will um i will uh, <clears throat> make you aware of certain things as as and when that we use them so don't expect a dull one hour on this window allows you to debug we'll just learn as we go along i find that's the best option so just follow my league point and click and we'll have lots of fun this is a little bit it's a little bit hairy but i will show you how to do this um you do need to install mgcb editor now this editor allows you to add content it is imperative imperative i say that you install this uh the way that they do this is via a command prompt but not only that i am um, you would really do this via i would do this via the visual studio 2019 command prompt the native one so watch my mouse watch my mouse ladies and gentlemen go to start and you see the stuff you have installed go down until you find the visual studio 2019 i passed it 2019 folder not the application 
the folder. You see the little folder indicator there? Click on that and you go down. Now I've got a 64-bit machine. So most people have a 64-bit machine. And so you then click on the native tools command prompt for, for VS 2019. If you have a 32-bit machine, use the dot the, the x86 version but most people will have the 64-bit version so click on it and bring it up and it's here I'm gonna move that down to here okay so next we want to go back to the web page and highlight so it's the left mouse button make sure you've got all the characters highlight it right click press copy Alt tab back or go back to the command prompt and um, with your mouse anywhere in this window just right click so you right click and it will run the first line and it will leave the second one ready for you to press enter uh, I've already got it installed so it will just say installed so I'm just gonna press enter show that, you, that it can be done and that's it that's the first part done uh, I would do the optional second part only because I don't I just did it I just followed the instructions so if you do the same as me we'll have the same and there'll be no confusion so it's the same process again left mouse button down highlight only the, the portion within this box right click on it and do copy alt tab to the prompt the command prompt right mouse button and then hit enter and there it is it is all done uh, that's it you can now close this command prompt and that's it you you have everything installed it is great um, I'm just did finally on this um, let's say setup video I'm going to show you just how to open up a new project so I'm just going to close this and we will open up a new one you can see all the attempts I've had <laughs> so just Visual Studio open it up I would then just go create new project it will come up here you won't have anything in here if you've never used Visual Studio before so create new project um, there are three drop downs drop down lists so you will have this one that say all project types so you click on it and then go down to mono game it is in the list it should be in this if it's not in the list follow the setup instructions again uh, so you click on mono game and then you get the options of what ones to build we're going to be building the windows version but using directx so you scroll down until you see this one here mono windows desktop application Windows DirectX okay so just do that select it and go next we now need to give it a name I'm gonna call it final test I'm not ever gonna do this video ever again final test don't follow me on this it's just showing you how to, how easy it is to set this up I'm gonna put this in a place where I can delete it so you choose your location where you want to install it and then I'm just gonna go create and that's it uh, sit back and enjoy the yeah the <laughs> Visual Studio coming up with your project okay so excuse the wide screen um, I should use I've only got two screens and one of them is 4k this one's slightly easier to read <laughs> okay so I'm saying keep saying okay very annoying I apologize for that so we have our project so I'm just going to test it so I'm going to go to debug now it hasn't come up with the right menus because I can't see run application on there so just click on one of these and then go back again and then you'll see start debugging that's the important one start debugging now I know it's on my F5 key so I will be saying the keys and what keys I'm pressing as we go along so ignore everything else but just start debugging so it will build the application uh, ha, ha, a vast cyber catcher will catch mine there is a um, suspicious file detected just ignore this takes about 10 seconds and then it's a everything's fine it only happens once 
Uh, you will see this as we do the videos, but it only is going to happen once. And there's our thing running. We it's got nothing but a blue screen, but we have, yeah, our um, in essence our start start game is there. Just a blue screen, nothing else. So close that, and I'm going to press F5, and it's already built. So we'll quickly run it, and it's there again. Lovely. No no alert from Avast, so it's there, and it will just continue to produce magic. All right, so that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that is installing uh, Visual Studio 2019 and Mono Game. And in our next next video, we will discuss some finer points on C Sharp, just the fundamentals, just to get you going. If you're very familiar with C Sharp, or C and programming and stuff, skip the next video and go on to starting the game. All right, so it might be a couple of videos. I hope you haven't already left. <laughs> uh, oh dear. All right, um, our Space Invaders will be very much like the arcade version. It's um, I picked it because it's um, a little bit more complex than you might think. Yeah, because we're going to have fun, especially when we uh, try and develop um, is it would be a joint discussion where we try and develop the bases for uh, the the bullets um, destroying sections of the base. There are ways of doing it, but yeah, I just think it's it's going to be incredible, incredible. All right. Uh, anything else? I cannot think of anything else. So at this point, I'm going to say please subscribe. Uh, please comment. I love your comments. Uh, what your feelings are, uh, you're going to look forward to the course, uh, you're going to say, who are you, Neil? <laughs> I'm quite happy to, to answer any comments. So if you've got any concerns, uh, if you have problems installing, uh, then knock a comment down and I will uh, endeavour to help you or at least um, tell you how the, the get out of jail thing, like generally uninstall what you have and then try it again. Because... Um, uh, doing following this instruction word for word, letter for letter, mouse click for mouse click, it will install correctly. All right, then, so thank you very much, and I look forward to um, us getting together for, uh, for the next video. Ciao.